Now one thing you're going to notice when you're on the hidden web and going to some of these .onion sites, you're going to notice that quite often the sites are down. And one of the reasons that is the case is many of these people are hosting these .onion sites on their computer, on their local computer. And what this means is when they turn the computer off, the site goes down. Now obviously, if you're promoting something over there, you, you obviously want the site up as often as possible. So a great way to do this is to get a VPS server. VPS hosting is virtual private server hosting. Now what this does is it's basically a cloud-based computer. So you are connecting to a remote computer and the computer will look like the screen will look like you're on your own computer but you are actually connecting to a remote computer. I'm going to show you what that looks like. I have already set mine up so I'm going to go down and in programs and remote desktop connection. I've already done my password and everything and you see I'm connecting here. So this is my remote desktop. This has nothing to do with my physical computer. And I've already set up my Tor browser here. Uh, I've set up my Onion site over here. You have Mozilla. You can still go and search for things here. Now one thing to be careful of is when you are doing the VPS hosting is make sure their terms of service allow for .onion sites on the Tor network because of all the illegal activity over there, many of these VPS services just don't want to deal with it. And you want to make sure that you're not going to have a problem with that. So make sure that the terms of service, most of the terms of service just say you can use us but we don't want you doing anything illegal over there which of course we're not doing that anyway. But do check with them specifically because you don't want to get everything all set up and then them pull it down because of something in the terms of service. I would just put in a support ticket and ask them. Uh, there are some services. I'm going to list a couple here that at the moment support this. Um, but like I said, do check because things change. And this particular one has a dollar trial and after the first month you don't need much room on these for your dot onion so after the first month you're usually looking at $9.99 a month maybe $12, $15 a month it depends on what how much room you need which is not much uh, but check with them and like I said the virtual private service it is literally like a second computer and you don't have to worry about any of your files because the only files that are over here are going to be the files that you have put on the virtual host. And as you can see, this is kind of a blank screen over here. All I have are my the Tor browser and I have the things for my .onion site. So I hope that explains a little bit how the virtual private server works. And once you get into this, it's just like being on your own computer. It's, it's fairly straightforward. So check that out, and then we'll go on to how to host your own insight.